Hey there, uh, how are you doing? Uh, this is Sam here. Welcome to another video in uh, AWS Learning Series. I know it's been a while. I got caught up, caught up in you know some other issues and uh, that's how the delay happened. So today's topic of discussion is uh, migration services. It's an interesting topic guys, trust me on that. So if you remember, this is how we started uh, uh, all other you know previous videos. Uh, this is the very first slide. The reason is you know pretty simple. I want you to uh, be familiar with this. Uh, you know try to remember these are the key components uh, these are the you know key components from uh, aws as of today uh, so far we have seen uh, the items still analytics we were covering each and every individual uh, component uh, in a nutshell so talking about migration services we have got three uh, important uh, topics down here we have got dms we have server migration along with snowball so DMS and you know Snowball, uh, it was already there and it was clubbed under some other component. Now uh, in, in 2016 reInvent, uh, Amazon has announced that they are coming up with uh, migration services, another key component. And uh, DMS and uh, you know Snowball, uh, they, they pushed it to uh, this particular uh, section. And we have uh, server migration as well. So let's see uh, DMS first. So DMS, it stands for Database Migration Service. It's pretty simple as the name says um, it will help you to migrate your existing database to amazon's version of db service it is completely managed uh, easier to you know manage you have the console access you can do whatever you want you will have complete control over your db instance so it's a migration service for the database your database actually and then uh, server migration uh, it will help you to you know uh, migrate your on-premises uh, servers to AWS. Uh, think about uh, you having a you know, VMware uh, server and um, you would like to migrate it to AWS. You can do it by uh, utilizing server migration capability from AWS. And then we have something called as Snowball. Snowball, uh, it is used for large scale data transfer, something in you know uh, petabyte uh, uh, scale uh, data transfer. So uh, use Snowball for uh, appliances to move data uh, from and to AWS cloud. That's that's why you will be you know using uh, Snowball. So you get to uh, move your larger uh, data chunks to AWS or from AWS the existing data from AWS. You get to, you know download or uh, you get to move it to your own infrastructure through Snowball appliance. So essentially, it's an appliance uh, which has you know petabyte scale storage and uh, you can you can order it from uh, amazon so they will send you the snowball device or snowball appliance wherein you can you know uh, use it for uh, data transfer so that's all uh, i have uh, in this video for you guys uh, do subscribe to the channel uh, let me know uh, in case of uh, any queries or uh, suggestions thanks for watching the video guys bye